What's going on? It's your brother X9 back to do another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a big beard transformation. Okay, so um, for those of you that have been following the channel uh, for a long time, uh, you, you guys know that this is the shortest my beard has been uh, in the last five years uh, or more. Um, there's a couple reasons why I want to do this change, uh, but I know this is going to be a long video and I'm not really going to be talking through it. Uh, so I am going to come back and film a video after this and uh, we'll get into all of that. But um, I'm going to be doing a, a pretty big chop. Uh, follow me in the journey. There's a lot of things in store uh, in the future. And who knows? Um, maybe we might grow back together. You know what I mean? But we'll see um, how I'm feeling it. Um, I don't want to keep talking because I might talk myself out of it. Out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I'm not going to comb out and continuously cut because because of the texture of my beard and how curly it is, if I were to do that um, and then my beard goes through its different shrinking stages, my beard is always going to look unkept. So I'm not going to cut in too deep and I'm going to use uh, the technique where I kind of push it, push my beard in and then trim the rest uh, from, from when it's pushed into shape because I always want it to remain as thick and dense and full looking as possible. Part of my mustache, man, this shit is all over the place. This is one of the reasons why um, growing out and then trimming down to where you want it to be is key because I'm gonna tell you, when my beard was, was shorter and I was going through my growing out phase, 
it it would never look like this. All right, um, and I'm gonna put some pictures. I'm gonna put a picture up. Uh, my my sides were really really slow growers, and my chin uh, was a really fast grower. So from the beginning of my beard um, journey until now, I never had the look that I wanted to early on because the chin took off, the sides didn't. Now uh, look at this picture. And you can see how the chin is, is really, really out. The sides are really, really in. Um, and because I didn't want to trim anything off the front and I was really, really going for length, I never got a chance to have, in my early growing stages, I never had a neat, or symmetrical beard um and that's part of the reason that's something that that i've i've held with me from the beginning of the journey till now is that i never had my beard exactly where i wanted it throughout the stages so i'm gonna go back and and reverse that and now that i can trim down and and see what that would feel like and who knows i may enjoy it i may say hey i'd rather the big beard and then go back to the bigger beard but uh for now i, I kind of like the way it's looking um, nice and neat. I know it's going to be um, a lot easier for me to maintain. Um, and uh, we'll see how it works out. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the mustache yet. Um, I'm actually going to shoot a video on that as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and line it up. And I'll come back and I'll look at it again tomorrow and decide if I want to take it down a little bit more.